What's up guys? It's been a long time, so I uh, just wanted to share a video. Uh, I've just been uh, playing around uh, with painting and weathering. So I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little, you know, heads up or I guess a little bit of the weathering I'm learning. It's kind of really, really awesome. So that's probably the reason I want to share this because um, it's like a really high level of, of detail and weathering that that I wasn't capable of before and it's all possible by using um, oils so these like regular paint oil tubes are amazing um, also pastels so I'm gonna show you now you see this blue one right here okay so what I did is this is one of the best um, this is just I was doing some tests and um, let's see hope you can see this well well enough all right so I painted this guy. this is a torso from the Ultron I have a lot, a lot of spare spares of these so um, I used it and um, what I did is I painted it white right first with my air gun my, my airbrush gun and um, just just a test because I saw this guy doing gunpla you know Gundams and he took a regular pastel just a regular pastel like these and with a pointy q-tip like these right here they're pointy q-tips I'll show you one great and dropped it all right so these are pointy now you ever seen Tamiya they saw these really pointy q-tips those are really good because I didn't know that if um once you have the base coat and you take a little bit of the pastel with a blade you chisel it out right and then you rub the pastel on the q-tips tip right and then you go over you go over the detail that you want very carefully. You can use a magnifying glass like I use right here, like that, and um, go over the detail. But you can't touch, you can't touch it. And um, this is the result, man. I mean, this is really, really nice. I don't know if you can see the detail. Um, so when you put the blue on, wherever you want, and you're done, you know, just blow off a little excess because you're going to get little chalk parts all over the place and you just blow it off. And the only parts you're going to see are the ones you rubbed with the uh, point, which is, you know, pretty cool. And so then you can't touch it because you'll smudge it, right? So what you do is you take something they call a varnish. What I use is Tester's um, flat coat, but you can use other stuff like Mr. Hobby. Mr. Hobby has flat coat or clear coat and you spray it. And then um, this is what I got. Um, just a really um, amazing effect. So that wasn't the end of it. So then what I did is um, I wanted more the detail to come out more. So you know how some people use those Gundam markers and they go all over the panels and all that. Well, um, there's a better way of doing it. You take these oils right and you just take like just a tad of oil it could be like any color you want it could be like a dark gray or or whatever i recommend these but these are kind of i bought these two they're kind of expensive they're like eight dollars each but it's like well worth it um so what i did is i just took one of these little you could put it anywhere these little plates and you just take a little bit of um what do you call it? Thinner. I, I use terpenoid. And you mix the oil with terpenoid a little bit and you make a wash. You make like a little wash. And you just go over it with just a brush. You just go all over the detail. All over the detail. It's a lot of noise outside. So once you're, you go all over the detail, you don't have to wait or anything. You just take a napkin and you wipe it away. You wipe it away. Since these are oils, it's amazing. Like 
all all the detail comes out and um, I don't know if you can tell but this thing has a lot of detail so hopefully you can see it okay I think that's like the closest I can do it but that's like a lot of detail you know so it's pretty amazing like you get a really nice effect so yeah I tried that in the back before but I didn't do it with the oils I did it with the um, panel line accent but this this um, doesn't work too well as, as well as the oils so the only thing that you have to do after you put the oils is you have to wait three days that's the only the, the only bad thing you have to wait three days and then you just you know spray it with um, a coat you know a clear coat uh, either clear or flat coat to protect, to protect it and I mean this looks to me um, this looks really awesome you know like a professional paint job but all I did is just I just just like I did like three steps you know I painted it one color white then I the second step was put pastel right blue and then I put um, the third step oil and that's it and then you have this really beautiful um, uh, you know result so I just want to you know you guys should check it out the back I, I messed up so and then I tried um, a different color and I tried enamel this this one and it, it, it I mean you can use the terpenoid right there or you can use uh, other brands but don't use um you know don't use um tamilla because um it, it would just it didn't work out for me for these tests but um or let's say uh this torso first is the front part right it's uh this is the way it comes and it's already painted and everything by um the company hasbro so uh let's say you want to put panel lining black all over so the the the, the, the silver will stand out more um, all I did is make an oil wash, right? And I brushed it on a little bit here. I just did a little test here. I should have done it all over, but I just did it here. And um, it's, it's, it's gonna look amazing, you know? So, well, you know, then you just wipe it off with a napkin and you just wait three days. And, um, and then you can, um, you know, you can put like a, a flat coat or a semi coat, whatever, but you know what I mean, it's like, it, oh, so check this out. So um, this is a, a normal, a normal um, Marvel Legends uh, wasp head. As you can see how she looks. So look at the difference. I I did the eyes with the oils. What I did is uh, put a shiny coat on 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 the head. Okay, so I forgot to talk about this um, pledge, right? This thing, you put it on anything you want to work with with the oils. But I didn't do that with with this, you know. So don't worry about it. Let's say you want to paint a really tiny head. What you what you should use is oils. Like let's say the eyes, for instance, right? So look at the eyes. How nice came out here. Look at that. Compared to this one, look at that. So what I did is I took the oil and with a really small paintbrush, I went over the eyes with just a little bit of oil like that. And it's really forgiving. Like if you mess up, you can just wipe it off and do it again. It's really, really easy. And um, and then I, when I let the oil dry for three days, um, I flat coated it with um, this. Testers um, doll coat and look, she looks great. And now I won't wipe off or anything. It's a, it's pretty amazing. So she looks great. Did the same, I did the same thing with um, Jessica Jones. Look at that. Her her eyes didn't have no makeup, like eye, like blackish makeup on it. So I just put it on her with the paintbrush and some oil. The uh, this one, if you want to get it, it's a Starship um, 
filth. It's really good. It's like eight dollars, and um, the result is really nice. Then when you put it on, you just wait three days, and then you just spray it with this, you know, or Mr. Hobby Clear, and uh, that's it. You got a really nice like, and then you can paint the um, lips and all that, uh, or you can put pastel red on her face with a brush, and then just put the um, lustrous and it, she'll have like makeup on like I do with the um, Dazzler or the Storm. So, I mean, it's like really, really nice stuff. Like it looks professional. So that's what I want to share with you guys. Um, so you guys have any questions, just ask me. So these are important. These, these Q-tips are really important. You should get some of these. You should get some of this Pledge. This is really awesome. It leaves a really glossy um, surface, slippery surface for the oils, which is really, really perfect. If um, you just want to do um, panel lining, you don't even need to use this. All you need to do is use the oil, right, and get a little bit of turpenoid, just a little bit, mix it in, make a wash, right, and take a brush and just put it all over the area you want to detail with panel lining. Make sure it gets in all the cracks and then just wipe it off with a napkin and a Q-tip if you want. And then by just work it and work it and you're, you have it clean and all the panel linings are gonna be perfectly the color that you chose for the oil. Um, they sell all the colors you ever need. So if you want like a brown panel lining or black or gray or whatever you're doing, um, it's a uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, I just did this uh, yesterday or today, so I gotta wait three days for it to dry. But it's 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 you know it's in the cracks, so it doesn't it's not smudging or anything because I wiped off the excess. So it looks pretty be it looks pretty awesome. So if you guys uh, are into panel lining, weathering, uh, oils are the thing, man. These things make a big big difference. Um, so we just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, yeah all right guys so all right so what am I getting next I don't know I'll make another video so long time so yeah so it's been a long time um, just keep collecting uh, and if you guys have any questions just ask me okay see you later